It's only been five days since I uh, started building the cabinet for uh, Phase 3.0, and I'm already at the point where I can install some of the electrical components and meters in the cabinet. And I hate to keep you guys waiting, so um, I'm going to take you around a quick tour of uh, what Phase 3.0 is so far. Well, the cabinet that is, and the second external control panel which the visitors can use to control the roller coaster without having to use my fancy uh, $200 uh, dollar, uh, control panel because <laughs> it's going a little over the top at the moment um, the cabinet uh, was made in uh, two days, actually one day and uh, I painted it in two days and did some finishing up on a couple of days later it currently has two uh, coats of paint which I did with a paint roller because let's be honest I wouldn't have gotten this finish uh, when I would use a paintbrush and uh, there's still some spots which need to be tidied up like the hinges um, this hole you see right there is for the for fan which is supposed to keep the components cool inside um, the other side houses a uh, really messy uh, rectangular uh, part hole really which is going to house most of the 25 pole sub D connectors six in total and a small hole for the external control panel uh, which the visitors can use um, I decided to make this rectangular notch or hole really uh, so the buttons would be, uh, I mean the connectors would be uh, flush with the uh, the hole. There will be there will be a wooden plate with all the connectors on it mounted from the inside, and I can and, and um, during transport they uh, won't hit anything or get damaged. Um, yeah, just showing off there. Well, some of the components are already installed. It's still far from finished, and uh, to be honest, I just hooked up a couple of wires uh, in a fancy, uh, non-professional way, just to uh, see if everything would work. I had some trouble getting it to work, but appeared my connections weren't all that good, so <laughs> I currently have a couple of bare wires laying around inside the cabinet but they are uh, far away from each other from the other bell wires so it's no biggie um, this is the second control panel which says press when button is lit there's a light inside but uh, the uh, it's not hooked up right now it's is however the button is however hooked up to the uh, um, the power supply unit PSU, which is a 300 watt old computer uh, power supply. And when you connect the green wire and the black wire, it will turn on the power supply. So this, in the end, is going to work with a key uh, key switch on the large control panel. But just to see if everything would work properly with this button, I just hooked it up to this button real quick. Um, when I press the button, the PSU will uh, turn on and uh, it will produce a nice humming sound from the fans. However, uh, I only have two hands, one's on the camera, one's on the button, so when I release this button, uh, the PSU will turn off and yeah, you'll see in a moment. So when I press the button, you can hear the gentle humming and some red lights which is the 10 channel light sequencer which I bought from a guy in Hungary no I mean Bulgaria um, through eBay it's quite nice it's in the same price range as the Velman 10 channel light chaser but uh, it's nowhere near as good this is highly customizable it can do up to one amps a channel and the Velman could only do 400 milliamps so that's quite a difference 
I'm gonna see if I can hold on a second. I'm just opening the doors. Uh, top one is the voltmeter, bottom one is the ampere meter. There's a tiny lock which locks onto this uh, part. So the left door stays shut and the right door has a key uh, with a lock on it which then locks itself against the other door in this uh, cutout piece. Here's a PSU just humming away. I'm not planning on painting the inside um, mainly because I don't know how the paint will react with current or uh, heat so I decided not to do that. But I did use some spacers for the components so they are nice on the maybe half an inch away from the actual uh, panel on the back. Allows for better airflow too. All these, well, uh, at 10 channels I can do 29 different patterns. It's kind of customizable at this point. I'll just show it to you for a while. That's going on the uh, Super Mouse uh, sign. Now hold on while I close the door, it's going to power off. And I just hooked up the ampere meter real quick. When I turn it back on you can see the meter move because more and light, more lights turn on and off all the time. So right now it's going from 0 to 1.0.1. And that's because it's a pattern where the lights slowly add up and then I'll go out. No, this is a different pattern already. But it's it's nice to know that everything is working alright so far. The uh, entire project is so the cabinet is about two feet high. Uh, a little under a feet deep and about one and a half feet wide so let's take a comparison with my hand it's just about as deep as my hand and well about deep, two feet wide I mean high I really want to continue with this project uh, as soon as possible but uh, it's actually the first time during the development of phase 3.0 that I've run into some money issues so <laughs> some parts have to wait uh, and I hope to be able to do more during Christmas break two week vacation just uh, doing stuff on the uh, Super Mouse and uh, Phase 3.0 and if you wanted this cable is about six meters long which is long enough to go from the cabinet to the audience at the expositions. I'm just going to give you a clip, clear, quick glimpse of the uh, all the electrical components I have. These are all the uh, sub deep connectors. Uh, just got a bunch in today. I don't have the cables near me right now, but. It's going to be six cables maximum coming out of the uh, cabinet. 25 poles, solar connections, so you can just solder onto them. And these covers are just anti dust covers, so they stay nice and clean during transport. Or when they're not mounted. Here's some uh, anti static bags, push buttons, some switches. Double pull, single throw, and some double throw. Double pull, double throw. Um, large push button, which is going to be the reset button for the emergency stop. A couple of uh, screw terminals, uh, spacers, which I use to keep the components off the back. Some screws, some larger screws, well, feather screws, they don't fit into the uh, electrical uh, parts. Um, some relays, IC sockets, 
resistors, diodes, all these LEDs. No, I only got a couple of blue ones left. I used to get them from uh, from America, but that guy stopped selling them to the uh, to Europe. Well, actually, to the Netherlands. So it's not that nice. It's gonna be a little more expensive to get blue ones, but not a big deal. All right, Let's just wrap this up. Yes, phase 3.0 as of now, and it's going great so far. So uh, thank you for watching.